So when I do a simple loop, this is red style and how to just quickly just uh, come up with how to get it. Turns out I've been doing things red style all my life. Hell yeah. <laughs> Every fall, Pat participates in a Native American tradition unique to this region. Today, he has gathered his buddies to show us the wild rice harvesting process from start to finish. One of the main reasons why we do an offering is to acknowledge that uh, the rice that uh, gives us life and to just to respect that. Manumen is the Ojibwe name for the grain that has been a food staple of the Minnesota native people for centuries. It means the good berry, and it is the only grain indigenous to North America. Within the last decade, I mean, I've seen more and more non-native people ricing. It's like people are, are really getting into it. And I think uh, because people are caring about what they're eating more, they're caring about where their food comes from, I think that a lot of people are kind of happy, a lot of non-native people are getting into ricing more because uh, they're gonna help protect the lakes. My name is Lindsay Mitchell, I'm from Mille Lacs Lake and I'm a Gizzi clan. There's not many ricers that want to go ricing and put in the work. It takes a lot of work and there are families out there that do it as a family and then they'll gift out to the elders who um, can't get out there. This food right here, this rice is more important than, than anything because all of us live off that. And, and one thing about wild rice is not only Native Americans love it, but all nations love it. Lindsay said, ricing is a healing practice of a culture that has gone through trauma. A few hours later, I got a text that said, Miigwe or thank you for coming in Ojibwe.